What's up everybody on the YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Well, another part of Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Today, in this video, we're gonna start chapter... What was it? Chapter 9, I think? Let's see. Yeah, chapter 9. The Spectre becomes clear. Yeah, in, in the last part, I was, uh, I was just finishing up the puzzles that I forgot about in, in the previous chapter. So there's that. Well, it was only two puzzles that I forgot about. But anyway. Let's get going to the town. To the lake, rather. Here we are. Not yet. Thanks, Undyne. Hold the phone. I just remembered I left something back. Back here. Maybe? Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. What's up? That ain't going. Can I look around your place first? If, if you don't mind. And we got a grinning toy. Kinda looks like Monster Kid. Ah, guests. What a rare surprise. My, my name is N Naya. Come in. Why, thank you. I'm Herschel. Herschel Layson. Might I ask what... Why... Might I ask what you are doing here? I was looking for inspiration. I'm a, I'm a singer, and this town just bubbles over with creative vibes. Vibes? Yes, just listen. Bubbling water, whispering wind, and all the footsteps of the traveler on the, on the leafy trail. The clean air here, the air is clean here, and the people are quirky and kind. It's the perfect town for making music. When I look at the town here, my soul just swells up with the spirits of music. I can see how this lovely town view would, how this lovely view could, would spur one's creativity. I'm always writing music up here, but I love it if you came by to visit me from time to time. Yes, I would like that as well. Thank you. She's re related. I wonder if she's. Blah, blah. I wonder if she is related to Janice in in any way. You know, Janice from the Eternal Diva movie. Wait. Back check. Back check. Talk to this guy. Tony's sister is really frail. They call her a witch, and she can't do anything about it. It's so sad. She's really nice when you got to know her. She's been through a lot. Hey, we think alike. Here, change this puzzle as a sign of our, my friendship. Puzzle number 97. How many friends? A girl is having some friends from school over for a party and wants to share her special 
special chocolate with them. If she gives out, if she gives them out, out so everyone has three chocolates each, there will be six chocolates left over. However, if she tries to give everyone five chocolates, she will be short by six chocolates. How many friends are coming up to her party? Well, it depends on how. What? Five chocolates each, short by six chocolates. Uh, I guess I don't know five. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. How about this? That was it. Correct. The answer is five friends. Apart from the girl herself, there would be five other people at the party. How did you do that so fast? I'm Sheen. Th nice to meet you. Or Sean. You're looking. You're the mayor's son, Luke, right? How did you know that? I heard Tony talking about you. He said you are a good friend. Any friend of, a, of my friend is a friend of mine. Well, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> In a way. I thought there might be someone, some interesting finds around here. But there ain't nothing so much as a button. Maybe it, I, maybe I read the instructions wrong. Rather, yeah, Mar Marilyn will be upset with me again. Just the other day, I tried to show a really good puzzle, but she blew up me off. Number 98, Symbol Codes. All that is known about this secret code is what is written on the back of a piece of paper. These symbols follow a rule and are listed in order from top to bottom. As shown by the question mark, the sixth symbol of the code is missing. Can you figure out which symbol A through E is part of the code? Um. Hmm. Well. I think if you do. I think if you divvy up. Like one, two, three, four, you know. So it's D with five. I think this is right. I knew I could do it. Fabulous! The number of the of uh, the number of endpoints on each symbol indicate the number that the symbol represents. The, mis the missing symbol in the sequence must have five points and is therefore symbol D. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there. 
Everything just fell over. Technical derps. I think it's good. Even uh, Gustavo said it was a good puzzle. I wonder why Marilyn didn't like it. He has a point there. Talk to this guy. We were excavating. The oldest thing happened. We opened up three dives, but but their walls kept collapsing. It looked like we, there used to be some kind of underground river that has been long dried up. Isn't that strange? This tower is full of water, and the canals are still here. That certainly sounds odd. It does sound odd. Do you recall anything else? Well, we found a few boats. Number 99, a washed pot. A washed as an appraiser of antiques browsed an antique shop, he, he was approached by the shopkeeper. One of these four pots is known as the 915 pot. If you can work out which one it is, then I'll believe that you're the top pot appraiser. Which is the 915 pot? Well, the only one that looks like it has numbers on it is D. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. <laughs> I love the thrill of a good solution. Correct. The decoration on pot D looks like 2115, which is how 915 would appear on a 24-hour clock. Oh, what? There, there was some silver in the ground as well. We joked that we joked that maybe there was a trail of the wrong garden. I don't know what happened with my accent there, but I was trying to do like a Van Dyke type thing going on there. Fascinating. Please go on. Oh, lot of silver. So it wasn't really important. Just put it on there. And talk to hands over here. Hey, still running around aimlessly. I do want the Spectre's the Spectre case to be over eventually. But but those antics of yours are pure gold, sweetie. How about you leave the old puzzle solving to that gentleman and we can gr go grab some dinner. No thanks, no thanks. Consider yourself stumps here. Come on, don't be shy. I can't even I can solve puzzles too, you know. Here, check out this one that I made. Or or had someone make it for me. But still. You know Hugo there kinda reminds me a little bit of uh the of Rumpelstiltskin from Once Upon a Time. Anyway, puzzle number 100, Cat Catcher. A naughty tomcat has been causing trouble all over town. Now he's in spot B, hiding from his owner. Who 